Hello, I'm Jeff with Shackle Ford Services LLC. Today we wanted to do a brief video to showcase one of our products from Tanklink. Tanklink offers battery operated, totally wireless tank monitoring solutions which can be installed in minutes to deliver tank level measurements, temperature, and location data through the cellular network to Tanklink servers for easy, efficient, and secure access to our website, Tank Data Online. Today we'll be looking at Tanklink's 4430 Profit, which is an ultrasonic unit. The one we have today is a long range unit for applications up to 270 inches. We're not going to spend any time going over the ultrasonic technology. We'll assume that's basic knowledge. Again, this unit is our live demo. The antenna has already been installed. The battery's been installed. The purpose of today's video is to show how fast the unit updates the website, as well as how fast it will generate alarm emails. Uh, alarm emails could be high level, low level, reorder, or even critical alarms. Uh, once you receive your unit, you can loosen the access uh, cover screw to gain access to the inside of the unit. You'll see that we have two CR123A batteries. These batteries will provide us with up to 2,000 transmissions. These batteries are common off the shelf, Walmart, Walgreens, Radio Shack, uh, very low cost. And you can combine these batteries with the optional extended battery pack to get up to 6,000 transmissions. The unit can detect when the capacity of the battery reduces down to about 200 transmissions and it'll generate an alarm email to notify the user that it's time to change the batteries. Also inside, you need to take note of the MIN number and the serial number. You'll need these later when you complete the install and you're communicating all the information to TechLink Tech Support. Also note that there's the press to start button You'll be prompted by tech support to press this button once you give all the information pertaining to the vessel and location. Uh, some of the things you need to have noted uh, and, and have that ready for tech support is the tank sidewall height, the tank diameter, the maximum capacity of the tank, and make a note of the actual level in the vessel at the time of the install. Again, to keep the video brief, we're not going to go into any details as far as how to actually install a process connection if your vessel does not already have one. We'll just assume that your vessel does. Uh, here we're using a 2 inch process connection. We'll simply install the unit. Again, the information that you need to have handy once you call tech support, you need to have the tank sidewall height, the diameter of the vessel, the maximum capacity of the vessel, as well as the noted level in the vessel at the time of the install. Once you convey all that information to tech support, tech support is going to prompt you to press the button. Once you press the button momentarily, it begins the uh, sequence for communications with the server. The LED will flash to communicate status as well as alarm code. So pay attention to the LED. It only takes a moment for the unit to communicate, get a stable reading, and transmit data. So while that's doing that, we're going to go to our website, shackservices.com. We're going to click on the link. We're going to enter in the username and password for the demo. It's a, it's a live demo. Feel free to go visit at any time. You can pass that link along to your colleagues or your customers and, and go through and mash buttons. You're not going to hurt it. If you have any questions, again, go to our website, shackservices.com. You'll find our contact information there as well. So we're going to go to our website. We're going to click on the Tank Link demo. Scroll down to the link, and when prompted, enter the password and username that you find there on the, the page on our website. My.tank is the username. My.asset is the password. Once we get to the site, we'll actually see what we call a dashboard that will identify what vessels and the, are in alarm, what vessels are, are low battery. You'll find all this information, so it makes it really easy if you've got 500 level measurements that you're trying to keep track of. It gives a quick indication as to which ones need your attention first. Uh, again, for our demo, we only have one tank listed. We'll select that vessel. And now we're, we're brought to a detail page. This detail page 
is this actual unit. We're seeing it right now live on the internet. We have a green representation of the vessel. This, uh, this is an indication that all is well. We're not in an alarm situation. The level is within our spans. We've got a good level reading. You'll also see signal strength for communications. And you'll also see the battery level. Here to the left, you have a quick few points. Alarm status, comm status, again, indicated to be okay. As again, our tank is in green, showing that everything's good. Uh, we have some inventory levels. We've got uh, units of measure in inches as well as gallons. A little bit of information on the tank vessel itself. There's a lot more information on the software. Uh, again, we're not going to spend a great deal of time going over that. Go to the link at shackservices.com. Go in there and look around, mash buttons. If you have questions, by all means, contact us. Uh, the purpose of the video today is we're going to simulate a low level. We're going to show how fast the unit updates the website as well as generates that email. Uh, again, this unit is an active unit. We've got it set up to wake up every 30 minutes. To keep the video short, we're going to force updates by pressing the uh, start button. We're moving our target down to a low level situation and then we're forcing the update. Forcing the update wakes the unit up, it takes the reading, communicates to the server. Uh, you can also uh, do a manual entry on the unit if there's any changes to it as far as the, uh, the parameters go. Uh, so it wakes up and it goes and it grabs those uh, new, new parameters. Uh, once that unit gets the level reading, it'll transmit and update the website. We're going to get ready to uh, refresh the screen as soon as this unit completes its communications. And you'll see just how fast it updates the website. It's in the middle of communicating now. Indicated by a long, steady green, green LED. When it's completing, it'll go into a series of quick flashes. And that lets us know it's almost done. If there were any error codes at this time, it would be indicated by a series of red flashes. And the unit is completed communicating. So we're going to refresh the screen. And now the representation has gone to a red color indicating that it is an alarm. The alarm happens to be a critical low. Also over on alarm status indicated as critical low. And if you were to go back to the home page, back at the dashboard, you'll also see the critical low alarm is indicated that we have one vessel that is in low alarm. Now we're going to go click the tab back to our email. And I'll have to click refresh. And then you see that we got a critical low alarm within a matter of moments. It, uh, it doesn't take long at all. And inside the body of the email, you'll see that we have uh, specifications on the actual unit that called in, the product, location, specifics on the vessel, inventory time, level capacities, tank heights, a lot of information within the body of the email. Uh, if you have your emails tied to your phone, that allows you to receive these emails virtually anywhere. Uh, so you have eyes on your vessel, on your customer's tanks 24-7. Uh, you can access them anywhere that you have internet access. Um, go to our website, shackservices.com, follow the link, username and password, log in, look through the software. If you have any questions, give us a call, send us an email. Uh, again, shackservices.com. Thank you.